Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Alright, so today I'm going to do things that people typically don't have in their girlfriend that I think they should, and it's mainly towards girls, so sorry guys. And then first off though, I'm going to start it off with an outfit of the day golf version. So I am wearing a black bow in my hair, a Callaway hat, and I have an OSU clip and an OSU marker. It's supposed to go inside, but it's just really hard to use. Um, I'm wearing an Adidas black golf shirt, Travis Matthews white belt. I actually bought this in the men's department and I'm wearing an Under Armour pink golf skirt which matches my cowboy hat actually very well. If I go around, it is a fitted skirt. So I know a lot of the skirts now are like almost like the tennis skirts, but this one's fitted. And if I like back up, I can't really back up that much more, but it goes like pretty much right above my knee. So it's a good length and it's not like inappropriate or anything. Alright, so I'm going to go get my stuff and then I'll come right back so you guys can see the kind of stuff that you should have in your golf bag that a lot of people don't. Alright, so one of the first things I always keep in my golf bag is I keep one to two sleeves of whatever golf ball I play. Um, currently, I am playing the Bridgestone. It is the Tour B330 RXS. I really like it. I started out playing um, Callaways and I found out that they were just too hard and then I went to Titleist and I met a Bridgestone representative and he recommended the Tour B330 RX and I he told me then after I played it and said I really liked it, he said try the RXS and I ended up really liking it. So this is what current ball I play. I go through about a case in about maybe two or three months. So I don't really lose that many golf balls, but definitely a great ball. I definitely recommend it to ladies. Not a lot of people play, not a lot of ladies play Bridgestone. A lot of people play Bridgestone, just not a lot of ladies. So I'd recommend it. A lot of kids on my tours play this ball and I find that it's very helpful. Alright, so another thing that I have that a lot of people don't, a lot of girls don't seem to have, is I keep a bag full of teas. So I have this one. It's like on this side, it's like little dots, and on the side, it's kind of like patchwork. And I keep teas inside of it. And when I go, so if you can see inside of it, it holds a lot of teas. It holds I think I put about half a bag of three different size teas inside at a time. So it probably holds about a bag and a half total. And I keep short, like regular teas, um, short teas, like really long teas, just depending on where I'm playing. And I think this is really good. This is a makeup bag actually that I bought at the drugstore. And I find that it works very well. I had a smaller one and it just wasn't really doing it for me because I need a lot of different teas. And I also keep my rubber teas in here. I use the rubber tea that you put your own tea into. So I just keep it in here so that they never really get lost. Another thing that I think you should always keep in your bag and a lot of people do. I just, I don't know, lately I haven't really been seeing people keep it in their bag. I don't know if it was just a fad or something. But I really think that it's helpful is I think you should always keep a permanent marker. This one's a Sharpie. It's in orange. So you can either buy them in the pack and lately you have been able to buy them individually, which is what I do. And I think that it's really helpful. You can buy the minis. Personally, they fall off my bag and my bag is a Sunnut bag that has a holder in it. So I think that the bigger Sharpies are way more helpful. But I think that it's a really useful. But you can tell there's a line on this one, I guess. And I think that it's very helpful and a lot of people were using them and they weren't and you just buy one of these little holders and you just put the ball in it and it's really easy and you just draw the line. Mine has it so that you can do the dotted line across too if you're one of those people that has it, the different marks because I know when I play tournaments you have to identify our ball um, with some sort of mark. So I usually put my initial some people put like a heart or something cute, but I don't. So I just think that that's something really helpful that everyone should really have in their bag. I haven't really been seeing it lately on the course. And I play 
um, four to five times a week. So when I don't see people doing that, it definitely is. I play with a lot of different people, not just my friends, not just my school. So it's definitely something that I think people should have in their bag, but they don't. All right, and then another thing that I'd recommend you keep in your bag is a jacket. This one is just my Adidas Climate Control. It's really lightweight. Like, honestly, when you it balls up really nice. So I ball mine up pretty much like that. Some people have bags on my team because these are our team jackets. And they ball up really nice. And I just always keep in my bag. It doesn't weigh, it probably weighs a pound when it's all, if that. It's really super light. It's the Climate Control Jacket. It's from Adidas, um, climate adidasgolf.com, and it's just a really good jacket. I always keep it on me just because um, it sometimes gets chilly. I live by the beach, so we get a nice breeze. So I just, you know, recommend. A lot of people carry, like, sweatshirts in their bag, and personally, I can't swing in that. So I just think that this is a really nice jacket. It's got the little Adidas right there. So, you know, it's really nice. So I, I would definitely recommend.